Hello, well, and you know, the Senate spent almost 12 hours debating this bill. They started at around 5.30 p.m. yesterday. A vote officially came down right before the 4 o'clock um, hour. You know, a lot of emotions. As I was walking into the Capitol, we did see a few uh, protesters, activists standing by, waiting to greet uh, some of those senators as they were coming down the stairs from the state capitol. But a long night and early morning for lawmakers. And what caused a lot of, you know, controversy and debate the last couple of weeks was the part of about qualified immunity. Now, some people who are against the bill say they fear that this would lead to a mass exit of police officers, maybe some police officers retiring early because of fear of possibly getting sued. But we also heard from those who support the bill saying that they believe that this is a good bill and that if you are a good police officer, then, well, you have nothing to worry about. So we do have reaction to that after the vote came down. I understand the purpose, but I think the way the bill is drafted, you're going to see a plethora of law of uh, lawsuits being brought against municipalities and against officers. They're just going to, as a plaintiff's lawyer, you're going to sue everybody. You're going to sue good cops, or you're going to sue bad cops, but you're going to sue everybody and then see how it all shakes out. And I think municipalities are going to pay an awful lot. I think good officers are going to start to retire and leave so they don't have blemishes on their record. I think that the uh well, it's somewhat ironic that all of the debates, or so much of the debate, uh, focused on the issue of the qualified immunity, since that's a relatively, relatively small change from, from current law. Since uh, in order to, uh, to not have the benefit of qualified immunity, uh, a police officer's conduct has to be wanton, malicious, and willful, which is a very high standard, a very difficult standard uh, to meet. Uh, but there are so many other components of the bill. I think the, the mental health testing, uh, the change in the, the way in which uh, pretext traffic stops are handled, the change in the, uh, the standard for police use of deadly force, uh, the role of, uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, Post and DESPI in establishing best practices, uh, in motivating police departments to seek national certification and hit that checklist of items for professionalism uh, that are in there, the, uh, uh, the fact that we will be looking more closely at efforts that are being made for uh, minority recruitment uh, in police departments, uh, those are all critically important. And, you know, qualified immunity is just one part of, bill, of this bill. This is a 71-page long bill with 41 different sections. It also overhauls training, advanced chokeholds, and requires body cameras, and also bans the purchase of military equipment. So very, very long bill. Now, as for what's next, well, it's now going to head to the governor's desk. And we did catch up with the governor a couple of days ago. He says that he agrees with this bill, and he wanted the Senate to pass it. So most likely we'll be seeing the governor sign off on this. For now, we're live at the state capitol. It's at Nunez, Fox 61 News.